Welcome to the Need for Excel YouTube channel lesson 21. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the choose function to retrieve a value at the left of the lookup value. In this situation, I've got my data set where I've got my customer names, invoice numbers, invoice dates, and other uh, invoice related information. And then I've got a small table where I've got a drop down list where I can select the invoice numbers. And based on this selection, I want the appropriate customer to return over here. For example, if the invoice number is 12, then I'd like DVB cars to be shown over here. Now, if you try using a regular VLOOKUP, this is a lookup value. This is our table array. Now, you can't use minus 2. This is not going to work, but we'll still try it. Comma 0 because we are looking for an exact match. Hit enter to comment. Now this will return an error. The reason is that VLOOKUP cannot look up a value at the left. Now the thing which I want to show you here is if you click inside the formula and on the tooltip click on table array and use the short key F9. This activates the formula evaluate mode where you can evaluate your formula. Now. When I clicked on the table array and used the short key F9, it basically opened up the whole table inside of the formula bar. So here I can see my whole table inside of the formula. For example, customer, invoice, these are the column labels which are visible over here. And then all the records are visible further. Now you can also observe that there are two types of separators. One is the comma and one is a semicolon. A comma basically stands for a column. So customer, then one column to the right is invoice, and a semicolon stands for row. So this basically tells you that customer is the first entry, then invoices are the next column, then semicolon stands for a row. So SKD auto is on the next row. Now, what we basically want is to have these entries interchanged. So basically, we want the invoice uh, numbers to appear first and then the customer names in order for VLOOKUP to work. Alright, so I'll press the escape key and then use the uh, choose function. Alright, so let's start off. Equals choose. Now, in index number, so it's basically expecting one value but we are going to give it two values. So this is basically array syntax. So I'll inside inside of curly brackets I'll put one comma two. So basically we are telling Excel that instead of one index number we are, we are actually going to input two index numbers. Then comma. Now it's asking for a for value one. So we're going to give it the whole invoice numbers because this is the column which we want first. Comma value two is going to be the whole customer column bracket close and enter. Now if you select the whole thing and use the F9 key to evaluate you can again see the whole table inside of your formula bar but the difference is that the invoice numbers are being shown first and then the customers. So this whole thing can be used as the table array for a VLOOKUP. So let's press the control Z and start with the VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. Now it's asking for a lookup value. This is a lookup value, comma. This whole thing is a table array, comma, two, comma, zero, because we are looking for an exact match. Enter to commit. And now it works. Try changing the invoice number. Invoice number 8 should give you NKD trucks. Invoice number 8 is NKD trucks. If you want to download the exercise files for this lesson, please visit my website www.needforexcel.com and click on the Dropbox link. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel to keep yourself updated about the new videos that I post. Thanks for watching.